You probably already have a drill, so why would you need a drill press? It has a table that's square with a drill bit, allowing you to bore perfectly straight holes. With its variable speed settings, you're able to bore large holes using Forstner bits like these that would be very difficult to do with a portable drill. The chuck works just the same as any other drill. To change the speed, you just adjust these belts to different pulleys. I just follow this little reference guide up here that shows me the various configurations and RPMs. I can set this one from 280 RPM all the way up to 3000 RPM. I use the slowest speeds for the larger drill bits, say this Forstner bit or even a hole saw, and save the high speeds for the thin bits. The handle has two important adjustments. The first one is a depth stop that I use by tightening this knob. That allows me to set the depth of each hole. So if I wanted this one to stop right there, I can lock it in and then I can make a series of holes that'll all be that deep. And there you've got instant candle holders. <laughs> and the other feature on the handle is one that lets you lock the drill press down to a certain depth. That's really handy for using these really inexpensive sanders that turn your drill press into a drum sander. Using this board with a hole in it, I can adjust this down just below that hole and lock it in. And I can clamp that to the table. One of the first things I did when I bought this drill press was I made this table. Almost all drill presses come with a small metal table and I prefer this larger one to hold work pieces and this fence also makes it handy to set up stop blocks so I can make repeated holes in a board. So while I wouldn't consider a drill press an essential woodworking tool, it certainly is a handy one to have. I find myself using it all the time and there's certain procedures you just can't do with without a drill press.